Hey everyone, this is Kaching, and this is a short video on how to create the grip inserts in the utility knife that we use in a couple of our videos. So let's jump right into the steps. First thing we're going to do is use the spline command under the, the sketch drop down, and we're going to sketch out the profile of the inserts. So we're going to want to insert at the very top here, and uh, I'm just going to sketch out the spline. And we're going to want also an insert at the at the bottom here near the near the handle. So we're going to sketch out this spline here. And we're going to click stop sketch to finish. So now we have two sketch lines and now we're going to use the split body command and um, you split the body into three different pieces. The body to split is going to be the utility knife body and the first splitting tool is going to be the the top the first sketch. We're going to uncheck the extend splitting tool because we don't really need to extend it. And we're going to click OK. And now you can see we have two separate bodies in our bodies folder. We have this first body that we split and then the utility knife body. Now we're going to repeat this splitting uh, split body command and we're going to turn on the sketch so we can see our second sketch line there. And we're going to do the same thing. The body split is going to be the knife body. Splitting tool is going to be that second sketch line. And we're going to say OK. Now we have three bodies. Let's hide the sketches so we don't have to see them anymore. And now we're going to actually copy and paste the two, uh, the two separate bodies we just created. So it's going to be body, uh, body 1 and body 10 for me. For you, it may be a different number. But just make sure that you have those two new pieces selected. And we're going to right click in the browser and say copy. And we're going to paste it. So. Now basically we're duplicating these two bodies so that we have two sets of them. We're not going to move them, we're just going to say OK. And now we're going to hide the two new pieces and uh, work with the two original ones. Basically the way to get the offset of, uh, of these inserts is to just, um, is to just do a uh, right click, press pull, and once you have press pull activated, you're just going to select these the, the surfaces of the inserts. And you, we can give this a value of negative 2 and say OK. And now they're offset. So I'm going to do the same thing to the back. I'm going to say right click, press pull, select the surfaces that you, wanna, you want to uh, offset, give this a value of negative 2, and say OK. Now that these uh, pieces are offset, we're going to combine all three pieces to the knife body. So uh, going to modify and click on combine. The target body is going to be the knife body. The tool bodies are going to be the ones that we've just offset. And the operation is going to be a join. And we can leave the two options, uh, new component and keep tools unchecked, and say OK. And now in your body folder, you should see three bodies. You should see the newly combined body with the knife body, and the two bodies that you've um, hidden uh, previously. Now what we're going to do is actually unhide them so we can see those, those two inserts that we've made a while ago. And this time we're going to do a combined cut. And uh, what we're going to now go to, again, the combine command. The target body this time is going to be one of these inserts. The tool body is going to be the knife body. Uh, the operation now is going to be a cut, and we want to keep the tool. So let's click OK, and now let's repeat again the same thing, but for the, other, the, the bottom side near the handle here. Target body is going to be this new, uh, that insert. Tool body is going to be the knife. It's going to be a cut, keep tool, say OK. And now if you hide the, um, if you hide the knife body, you can see that we've made the inserts because we've cut the, the, um, the positive side to the negative. And now you basically have uh, inserts for your knife. And you can also fill at the edges to make it look better. Uh, you can apply different materials so they have a rubber grip um, as opposed to the, the knife material. And basically, that's how you would do it. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was useful. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. And uh, yeah, like this video. Great. Thanks, guys.